Watching the birds at this bird feeder is so therapeutic for me. I watch them and I think about different things. For example, as I watched these birds at the bird feeders, I was thinking about a recent experience. It doesn't matter who you are, your status in life, or how saintly you have lived your life. You will, at some time, maybe more than once, be the victim of someone else's actions or words. Gossip, for example, is malicious, and it feeds the weak-minded. There's nothing you can do about the one who gossips. It's their life. It's how they choose to live. You will always be victimized physically and or your property will be victimized. It is life. Quite often there is nothing you can do about it because, as I said, it's life. Recently I discovered that the front of my car was damaged. I don't know by whom, I don't know how, I don't know when. I just know it was damaged. I suspect in a parking lot somewhere. Thanks to the insurance company and the collision experts, my car is like new again. First, for a few seconds or so, I experienced anger and then reality. The anger subsided and the reality calmed me down. The reality of karma, reaping what you sow, cause and effect. Whoever did that to my car, if it were an accident and they were not aware of what they did, then there is no reaping of bad karma because there is no imprint on their feelings. If they are aware and did nothing, then it is their loss. The imprint of their behavior will stay until the debt is paid. I don't have to do anything. Their own lifestyle, behavior, and actions will determine their own fate and consequences. Karma is karma. That person has decreed the outcome of their own life, whether they are aware of it or not. That person is who they are and their resulting experiences are determined by their own behavior. That person will change only when and if they wish to do so. I need do nothing. Those are my thoughts, of course, and you may have a totally different point of view after having thought about it yourself, right? <laughs>